The goal of spirituality is to elevate the physical. And that requires a maturity of perspective that I didn't have when I was younger. And then as I got older, I started to realize kids will never not stick their hands in the jelly bean jar, right? What, what kid is not taking five cookies? But what adult doesn't appreciate that if you have two cookies, you'll get the cookies and you'll enjoy yourself. If you've got 20 cookies, you'll get sick and then you'll have to work harder on the gym to get rid of it. What adult doesn't understand that, especially when it comes to certain things, a little bit of something at the right level, at the right control points, gives you that physical and the spiritual of it, right? The actual enjoyment of it. And it can help you or whatever that is. It can enhance your life. And if you overindulge, it'll destroy you. A glass of wine can enhance your meal. Five bottles and, you know, you're throwing up at the, you know, in the bathroom. The idea that a little of something physical, if it's put in the right perspective, can enhance the quality of your life and an overindulgence of something can only destroy you is parenting 101. It's also spirituality 101. And lots of the way the spiritual world works, if you go through the various levels of spirituality, if you look at the Torah, if you look at different levels of observance, what you find is that the areas in which you are restricting your physical, it's not restriction of physical entirely, it's restriction of physical to a point of control so that when you indulge in that level of physicality, you get the physical and then you get the spiritual. You get the physical capacity to be with somebody else, but the, the spiritual capacity of being able to build a long relationship with somebody. You get the physical capacity of engaging in the world, but the spiritual capacity of finding some time where you disengage from the world and gaining that level of perspective and connection. Physical, but not indulgence. Because indulgence leads to weakness of control, weakness of spirit. <laughs>